Hi everyone! Today we're going to be looking at my must-have lots for Glimmerbrook. This world obviously came with Realm of Magic, and although it is stunning with all of its nature, there aren't many lots in the world, so it's important in my gameplay to maximize the usefulness of the space we have in the world and use lots that are multifunctional wherever I can. I actually wanted to start first with the Magic Realm itself as the one that comes in game is beyond tragic. This lot is the Magic Realm improved by Lego Louis Knight on the gallery and something that really enticed me to pick this lot over some of the other Magic Realm updates is that this lot includes the new Crystal Creations stuff which I think works so well if you're playing with a spellcaster, so having access to all of that stuff that comes in the pack is amazing. I do believe they also have a version on the gallery that doesn't use the stuff in that pack in case you don't have the Crystal Creations pack, so you can check that out too on their gallery, but I'm obsessed with this version that does have it. Also, in order to place this lot, just open the cheats menu, type in testing cheats, Base on, press enter, and then type in bb.enable free build, and then you'll be able to place a new version from the gallery. I really love the greenhouse that comes with this lot. It is so useful for gathering potion ingredients, and I feel like gardening is also spellcaster vibes as well for potion ingredients and just in general. I love how both useful and aesthetic this lot is, and I think that's what this lot should have been in-game, but unfortunately the in-game one is neither of those things. There are even beds down on the bottom basement level and a whole kitchen, meaning that your sim could basically live here if you're playing spellcaster rags to riches and need to stay here while you learn a bunch of spells and potions and maybe flirt with the sages. This next lot is the Glimmerbrook Plaza by Alexandra FD87, and this lot is a cafe lot type, but what's really special and also useful in my opinion is that the shops from the Magic Realm are here, so if you need brooms, potion ingredients, crystals, wands, all of that type of stuff, you can come here instead of needing to go all the way to the Magic Realm, so I love that. And it makes the world feel more magical in my opinion, because I like to play where there are only spellcasters in Glimmerbrook, so it would just make sense to have more magical lots in the world instead of just their houses and the magic realm itself. And also, you may just need to pop by real quick to grab something, and then you don't need to go all the way to the portal and all that just to grab it. Also, it's a really cute place for your spellcasters to come during the day and get a coffee and socialize with other magical folk. And the structure of this build is also so cute. I am obsessed with the floating furniture section. It's such a fun little witchy addition. This is another option for that same lot, and it is the Glimmerbrook Tavern by Just Flow You Know on the gallery. And I am obsessed with the vibes of this lot. The landscaping is incredible, and the inside is just so cozy and has the exact essence of Glimmerbrook, in my opinion. Like, all of the stone and wood tones, like, this place just makes me want to grab a cider or a beer, even though I hate beer in real life, and just chat up with a bunch of other spellcasters. This next lot was actually built by me, and it's called Glimmerbrook Crystals and Bar, and I wanted a crystal shop for Glimmerbrook using the Crystal Creations pack, but I wanted it to be multifunctional, so downstairs is the main crystal shop area, and I really love all of the new items in this pack. I think that they're super cute and make for a really cool crystal shop. Outside, there is a garden with some of the crystal trees and some extra gardening planters, and there's also a grocery stand and a market table so your sims can come 
buy groceries here if you're playing off the grid or potion ingredients like fruits and veggies and stuff. Upstairs, there's a bar and hangout space for your spellcasters, and I think it's really cute up here, but since this is a retail lot, it's a little bit more of an effort to get sims to come treat it like a bar space, but what I like to do is put my sims in a club with other spellcasters to meet here and have the activities be to drink bar drinks, dance, socialize, etc. Also, I'm using Little Miss Sam's Auto Employees mod so that the bar and vendor stalls are filled and I don't have to hire them myself. Next, I'm going to show you a bunch of options for residential lots, but first I wanted to show you the residential rental lot that I have placed. And as I said, this has now become an essential for me in really small worlds like this so that I can keep the world to be only sims that live there, especially because I want all of these sims to be spellcasters and keep that magical vibe. This is the Glimmerbrook Village by Lethe Sims, and I think that this lot is really beautiful and fits so well into its surroundings. There are five units here, so I have a ton of spellcasters living here to really fill up the world with sims. There are really cute amenities here, including a cafe, which is so nice to have, let's be real. A wishing well from the Romantic Garden Pack, which is so much fun. The wishing well is always trolling you, which is so funny and so magical and perfect for Glimmer Book. And there's also really cute seating outside, a place to play marbles, hopscotch, and there's also a swing set. Inside, there's also a room for activities like a foosball table, a games table, piano, easel, flower arranging, all that. So there is no shortage of activities for your sims to do here. There is no cauldron placed down on this lot, but you could easily add one into the shared space or just have a personal one in your own apartment if you want to play with a spellcaster on this lot. But yeah, overall, so cute and I'm obsessed. Now I'm just gonna run through some of my favorite residential lots for this world. And obviously they can't all be placed at once, but I just wanted to give you guys a bunch of options because there are so many amazing lots for this world and so little space. So just lots of options to pick and choose from. I'm just gonna show you the exteriors though and like the bird's eye floor plan of these lots just because I'm going to show you a bunch of these and yeah you can kind of just get the vibe of all of these residential lots.
Real quick, I just wanted to go over how I play with only spellcasters walking around in Glimmerbrook. I was using a different mod before, but since the Crystal Creations game update, I switched over to the Kato Home Regions mod and that mod works great as well. Basically, all you have to do once you have the mod installed is shift click on the ground somewhere and go to home region settings, go to regional filter settings, disallowed worlds, and as you can see, I have Glimmerbrook grayed out because I only allow spellcaster sims that live in Glimmerbrook to visit all of the lots here. Those are all of the lots that I have for you today. I hope you all enjoyed and found some really cute lots for your spellcasters because Glimmerbrook really is so so beautiful and needs some really nice lots to go with it. I also wanted to say thank you all so so much for a thousand subscribers. You guys are amazing and it just blows my mind a little bit and I'm just so grateful for all of you, so I have some fun videos planned, including a must-have restaurants for every Sims 4 world video, but it takes some time to put all that together, so it should be out hopefully pretty soon for you guys, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.